Accountability. <laughs> Accountability. Doing what you don't want to do, when you don't feel like doing it, even when you say you should do it, and you still do it. Doing what you should do when you don't want to do it. Accountability. Accountability is also when you hold your friend accountable. It's like having a gym partner. It's like having a coach. I have a coach. I have a business coach. And he holds me accountable. He holds me accountable to my goals, to what I say, to what I'm going to do, to what the homework is, what I'm going to have to do between each call. He holds me accountable. If I didn't have that accountability, if I didn't have in the back of my mind, oh my God, Coach Carlos is going to be blah, 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 yelling at me, teeing off for the first five minutes if I don't do this. It's also holding yourself accountable because you said it, which is the most important part. And that's what we're here to talk about this morning. The best way to hold yourself accountable is language, is voice. And, I'll, and I'm like, I wanna have a week of language. Tomorrow I'm gonna to have another video about language. It's the words we use and how we use language and things like that. Language is so important. People just say things and they just, they think things and they, they, they don't think it's a big deal, but really that's our inner beliefs. Anyway, to hold ourselves accountable, if we don't have a coach, if we don't have a training partner, listen, accountability can be at the gym. Get a training partner. That's the easiest way. I remember when I was in college, I was playing rugby and I needed to bulk up. And I needed a training partner. Imagine being, or not imagine, but remember going back to college and it's the summer, you have off. Imagine going to the gym every day. That's hard. You can't do that because you're waking up and you can go to the beach or you go on vacation or you do this or whatever. You have a million other things besides going to the gym. Only with a training partner, a gym training partner, did I actually go. So I'm going to go to my phone for notes. Number one, accountability. I'll give you two examples. Number one is, uh, actually no, I'll say the steps first and then I'll tell you the two examples. Number one is you have to think what you want to do first. You want to start a business. You want to lose weight. You want to get a girlfriend. You want to quit your job. You want to start a business. You want to read more. You want to wake up earlier. You want to run. You want to do a triathlon, whatever. Whatever you want to do, that's a goal. You have to think it first. Think it's attainable. Think that you can do it. Running a marathon, I was like, I didn't want to do it. But deep down inside, I thought I actually couldn't do it. So I convinced myself I didn't want to do it when in fact, I felt I couldn't do it, which is two totally different things. And finally, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I could do it. Then the second step, so I said it, said it in my head. Second is say it out loud to yourself. I'm gonna run a triathlon. I'm gonna go to the gym today. I'm gonna start a business. I'm gonna go talk to that pretty girl over there. I'm gonna go out on a date. I'm gonna get a divorce. I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna have a kid, whatever. Whatever you want, whatever goal is, I'm gonna start the business. So I'll tell you my two examples at the end. Then here's the situation is, if you're closer with your family, Whoever you're closer with, between your friends or your family, some people don't have a good family life, they have a good friendship, or they have a lot of friends, but they don't have a good family life. Whoever you have a less solid uh, relationship with, you tell them next. You tell your friends, if you have a better relationship with your family than your friends, tell your friends, then tell your family. If you have a better relationship with your family, you tell them last, but start telling your friends. Because the reason being is that if you tell the people who you care about most, and you start getting pushback and feedback and negativity and you shouldn't do this and th these things could happen or you could fail or what are you doing or ha ha ha, start laughing at you, then you're not gonna do it. You're not actually gonna start. So that's the biggest thing is, number one, tell yourself. Just, just convince yourself. It's a lie in the beginning because you're like going to the gym or eating right. I feel like there's a piece of hair. Hair is ridiculous in, in the morning for me. Number one, tell yourself. Number two is say it out loud, like right now. I am gonna run a triathlon or I'm gonna do a triathlon. Say it out loud. Because once you, first, once you think it, your mind just starts going crazy. It's like, no, 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 you can't, no, you can't, no, you can't, no, you can't. You convince yourself a little bit, then you say it, and then you're like, wow, that felt good to say. Then you start telling people, like your friends, start with your friends. Say, I'm gonna start a business. I, uh, one of my buddies, I was, on a, I was just out with him on Sunday. He's like, I might move to California. Awesome, cool, he told me, he said it out loud. And then the fourth step is tell your family. Or whoever is more important. If your family is less important than your, fa your friends, then tell your family, then your friends. You leave the most important to the end because that's where you're gonna get the most feedback and that's the relationships you care about most. That's why you leave it to the last, or for the last step. Say it in your mind, convince yourself, say it out loud to yourself, tell it to your friends or family who's ever less of a relationship, then tell it to your friends or family, whichever is more important to you. So here are my two examples. Uh, Thanksgiving 2013. I, for six months, have been thinking about and asking around why people haven't started their own real estate firm. I'm in real estate. I've been in real estate at that time for maybe, I don't know, four years. And at that time, I was like, I, 2000, yeah, it was 2013. And up until that point, I was like, I could do this better. The company I worked for, the environment, it was good, but it was just like, it was just a plateaued environment. Um, it was just like the internet, everything's found on the internet. I can easily, so for six months, I was like, I can do this, I will do this. So what did I do? I convinced myself, then I said it out loud. Then, this is the interesting part, I told the people most important to me. I told my family at Thanksgiving. Let me say that again. I told my family at Thanksgiving. Okay, for me, that's really important because number one is I really appreciate my family's opinion about everything. And number two, I'm really, really close with my family and I have a huge family. Like Thanksgiving, there was probably like 35 people. I told one person and that person goes, holy cow, Rita, Ken, which are my parents. Like, Rita, Ken, get over here. Charles is gonna start a real estate business. Did you hear this? 
And I'm like, uh... And I'm like, ah, uh, no, I, like, I told one person, then that person just yelled it, and then my parents came over and like, no, we didn't hear this, you're gonna what? I'm like, yeah, I'm starting a real estate business. And at that point, I wasn't even sure. I was not even sure I wanted to do it. I was like 50% sure that I wanted to do it. There was still another half that I was like, I don't know if I wanna do this. Like, I, I just was thinking about it, then I convinced myself that I said it out loud. And then when I said that Thanksgiving, literally 20, literally the whole party, actually, I should say, came over and they're like, you're going to do what? Started, uh, and they started, some people started joking, and some people started laughing about it, and then they laughed at me, and then they questioned it, why are you doing it? Do you understand what's involved in it? And, and they, I would say 50% thought it was dumb, and then the other 50% thought I was just joking around. Like, nobody took me seriously. Nobody took me seriously. But what's funny is that when people doubt me, is that's when I, that's when I get my most fired up. So I was then held accountable because I said it out to other people. So if you don't say, if you tell someone I'm gonna run a marathon, then you don't run a marathon, you feel like crap. Those people are like, um, well, I thought you were gonna run a marathon. Every time you see them, I thought you were gonna go, you were jogging this week, or I thought you were starting that real estate company. Here's one that's right now, something that I've not, so then I went out and I started my own company, my own real estate company here in Manhattan. So that's the biggest thing is that you have to say it out loud to people that will hold, hold you accountable. They, so that's the funny thing is my brother, my mom, my sister, uh, my cousins, uncles, they're not gonna be like, Okay, I thought you were gonna start your real estate company by doing the LLC, then going online, getting the dot .com, then hiring a web developer, then getting the internal systems, then getting the external systems, then getting the marketing and the, they're not holding you accountable. Like, like, like that. They're holding you accountable because you said it and you said it convincingly where they're like, let's find out if he actually does it. And then people that doubt me are always proven wrong. Here's the second one. So for the longest time, I've wanted to get into environments that I do two things. Number one is I meet girls. And number two is that I exercise and find a club of people or a group of people that like exercising, that like biking, eating healthy, they're positive, they're outgoing, they're smiling, they're excited and things like that. And I started taking a lot of cycling classes at my gym, Equinox. So I was like, I wanna become a cycling instructor. So I went to about six months of cycling instructors or cycling classes. And then after, and then I slowly started, this is where it happens, you start doubting, this is where anything starts happening. Starting a business, uh, breaking up with your girlfriend, uh, getting divorced, or your body, your body starts breaking down, so you're like, I think I need to eat healthy. You start doubting something about what you wanna change. Your bank account is dwindling, you start doubting it. How am I gonna afford things? That's when real change comes in. So number two is with Equinox. So by the sixth month, I'm like, I think I can do this better. I think like the teachers, I was like, these are normal people. I remember looking at them, I'm like, how do they convince 40 people to cycle to a beat for 45 minutes and be excited and be enthusiastic. I thought they were like gods. I feel like my hair, like I feel like there's a piece of hair. <laughs> it's annoying me, it's like hanging down, but whatever. So I then started talking to a bunch of them in the locker room, like a couple of guys would come into the locker room like, dude, great class, and they were normal people and they were actually introverted when I talked to them. And I'm like, imagine me, an extro extrovert, which is language by the way, I just use language to convince myself about who I am. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So. I started talking to them, I'm like, I could do this better. So sure enough, I started convincing myself I'm gonna become a cycling instructor. And then it's really nervous. It's like being up there in front of all these people and each week performing or two or three times a week performing and having your playlist and not being tired and not being sick. I don't get sick anyway. Again, that's language. So then I started convincing myself, then I said it out loud to myself, and then I told some people over the weekend, and then I posted it on my Instagram. If you go on my Instagram, it will say that I am a soon-to-be cycling instructor. So. I held myself accountable by putting it public. So my s sister and them, I don't know if you could see it, but this is my Instagram account. Come on. All right, there we go. Hopefully it'll, it'll zoom. All right, so Instagram to hold myself accountable. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but on there it says Equinox, and then it has a guide biking teacher soon. I know that just wasted your time <laughs> trying to do that, but whatever. So. I then said it to my friends this weekend, I'm gonna become a cycling instructor. I told people a week ago, I posted it on my Instagram. I'm holding myself accountable. I know if I don't put it public, there's no one or nothing that will hold you accountable to your goals. You need to tell people, you need to bring this stuff out. You need to hold yourself accountable by putting it either in writing online, in writing in front of you, in writing on your um, email or whatever. Future billionaire, future um, weight loss instructor, future wife, husband, father, whatever, whatever you wanna do. Then. If you don't wanna do that, or before you do that, you convince your mind, then you say it out loud to yourself, then you tell your friends, then you tell your family. And now you're held accountable. And you're held accountable, and they're not gonna say, oh, I, what about this first step to starting your business, or, or doing this just to lose weight or go to the gym. They're not gonna like call you like a teacher or a coach, but they're gonna hold you accountable because you're gonna see them at uh, family events, holidays, and they're gonna say, oh, how's that, uh, that business? 
You know what? When I first started, they questioned it. They laughed at it. Even when it was started, even when my business was started, they, they laughed and they questioned it. Now that it's established and it's going on two years, they don't do that. They say, how's business? That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have jokers, then you're gonna have haters, then people are gonna, then people are gonna accept it and then people are gonna love it. So Equinox, I'm not an Equinox cycling instructor, but I put it out there and I'm held accountable. What are you gonna be held accountable to today by saying it out loud to someone you know, a colleague, a friend, a family member, yourself, your mind, out loud while you're upstairs or wherever going to bed? I am gonna be a cycling instructor. I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. Or you start saying that over and over, then you say it out loud. You gotta, you gotta have people around you. I know it's 15 minutes. That was a very long video. I'm sorry, but I come out with an inspirational message and then I speed it up so it's not as long because it's 15 minutes. Subscribe to the video or to the channel. I come out with a new video every single day. Number two is I have a vlogging channel, which is also linked below, and uh, Instagram, which is my favorite social media network. Follow me on those. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow by 7 a.m. It's gonna be coming out every single day. Motivational message. Talk to you soon.